Hello everybody, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we would like to talk about the constructive and the destructive interference of the interference pattern of the Young's double slit experiment. In the previous video lesson, we have proved that when two coherent sources are combined with each other, having a phase difference phi initially, the resultant becomes 4i0 cos square phi by 2, where phi is the phase difference. It's very clear that as we move forward, with respect to the time, the phase difference will vary. The resultant intensity also is going to vary with respect to this phase. So, if the phi value is like 0, 2 pi, 4 pi, and so on, 2 pi into n, if you substitute these values, phi is 0, cos 0 is nothing but equal to 1 i resultant will be 4 i naught that's a maximum possible value being intensity is maximum we'll get a bright spot that kind of interference is called something like constructive interference if we know the same formula i resultant is 4i0 cos square 5 by 2. Here n is equal to as per the given data 0, 1, 2, and so on. n equal to 0 is called something like central bright spot. All the others are first bright spot, central bright spot or first bright spot. Others are named accordingly. Similarly, if you put a value of the phi equal to something like pi. 3 pi, 5 pi, and so on. 2m minus 1 into pi, where m starts from 1 onwards. It cannot start from 1 because central is already bright spot. We have already proved it because there is no path difference at the mm. center bright spot. Put the value of the pi, for example, 4i0 cos square pi by 2 cos pi by 2 is 0, so i resultant will be 0. In all these cases, i resultant is 0, minimum, dark. This kind of interference could be called destructive interference. Here, m starts from, as we saw, said, be careful not from 0, but not from but from 1, 2, 3 onwards, right? So this is how we are going to get bright spots as well as the dark spots in the interference pattern. This is called something like constructive interference. This is called something like destructive interference. If you want to show it on the graph, how does it varies? Say, let us take the phase on x-axis, 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, and so on. On the left side also, you can take the negative values, minus pi, minus 2 pi, minus 3 pi, minus 4 pi, minus 5 pi, and so on. If you keep on drawing the line, we can find that when the phase difference is taken on x-axis, 0, resultant intensity is maximum. When the phase difference is pi, resultant intensity is 0. Again, for 2 pi, it is maximum. 3 pi, 0. 4 pi, maximum. 5 pi, 0. So if you draw the graph from maximum to 0, from 0 to maximum, again, maximum to 0, 0 to maximum, maximum to 0. So on the other side also, at pi it is minimum, again at 2 pi it is maximum, at 3 pi it is 0, again at 4 pi it is maximum, at 5 pi it is 0. This is how the intensity of the interference pattern 
will be keep varying with respect to phase and that phase will be obviously keep varying with respect to that of the time but be clear in one way that individual waves in this interface interference pattern two waves has intensity i and i but resultant when these two are combined together in a constructive interference has become 4i naught and the dark it became zero this is not against the law of conservation of energy in any way the energy is redistributed in the interference pattern to get the bright and dark spots thank you for watching next we will talk the same in terms of the path difference see you back again thank you